I was raised very reform, and I really didn't think much other than the high holidays about my connection to Judaism, or even to Bethy Shern for that matter, until I lost my brother, and I was looking for comfort and understanding, and I just turned to Bethy Shuren. It was very cathartic for me. You know, I think that's what started my love, calling Bethy Shuren home. It's hard to imagine Bethy Shuren not part of our lives through both good and difficult events. It may look big, but it feels really small. It feels like home, feels like a family, feels like a place that you can go and be accepted any time of the day or night. It's always felt like this was a place that was both approachable and warm and a place that you could really feel at home. So when I started sending my children to day school here, when they came home singing prayers and songs, I was so excited and decided to become bat mitzvahed, which I had never had the chance to do. So at 42, I was bat mitzvahed here on the Bima, and I just remember sitting up there and having my kids watch me. It was a beautiful moment. But to me, Beth Shuren is way more than just a synagogue. It's a place where, you know, I went to school when I was younger. Some of my closest friends I met at the preschool. I remember sitting in the cafeteria with them, going to recess with them. But I also remember coming to synagogue with them. So Beth Shuren not only connected me with people, but also my faith, my education. It kind of created these core pillars for me. I think Judaism is very different for everyone, but for me it more gives me like a sense of like morals and values that like I sort of live my life to. It's more I have the same values as what the Torah tells me to believe in and as all of my Jewish friends that I go to school with. I feel that Judaism is always asking you to ask questions and investigate and learn and grow as a person for life. It's not something that's finished and through all my involvement for it, I really wanted to be a role model for my children, to know how to live their lives as a good person, to always give back if you can with money and certainly always with your time. Part of our involvement is far greater than this building or, or this location. I think our membership at Beth Sharon, our participation in, in leadership, it, it's an opportunity for us to really live by example to hopefully show our kids how we hope they live their lives. Well, it's kind of cool to see them as leaders in the Jewish community, especially when we walk into Beth Yashern and they're approached by so many people. It's kind of cool to see them in their element. If we were gonna set any example for our kids or hope that any of the values that they learned here at Beth Yashern stuck throughout their lives, it would be just trying to live as a decent human being, be concerned about those around you, and provide charity when you can. And I hope we've done that both at Beth Yashurin and in the larger Jewish community. When I was at college at Tulane University, Beth Yashurin would send these holiday boxes around every holiday and they would give me supplies that I needed to celebrate Hanukkah, they gave me matzah and Passover, and it was a really great way that I felt connected to the synagogue being so far away. And also in college, things are very hectic. I would often forget when the holidays were. And these boxes would show up on my door as a nice surprise. And they also had information how to find Chabad and Hillel in my community at school so that I could find somebody to celebrate the holidays with. Beth Yashurin does a really good job of just being available, not only through you know, services and being available to talk to you, but also through the little things. But it's nice to see the rabbi so invested in our own personal lives and so willing to you know, come out and talk to you, not just in synagogue, but you know, at your homes, just be there for you when you need them, develop a friendship with them. That is another reason why Bethy Sharon just feels so much at home to me, because when I walk in here, I see my best friends. I see my rabbi, who I call a dear friend, and everybody here is so welcoming and so friendly. It's hard not to feel welcomed and happy here. I really hope my kids and for their kids that they can find a place like Beth Isher, a place that we know that we can be recognized, acknowledged, accepted at all stages of our lives, both good and bad. But I hope they find the same kind of comfort, the same kind of community, the same kind of opportunity for education and learning, because wherever that may be for them, if it has the same kind of impact on them that Beth Isher had on us, 
it would be a really, really good day.